Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. In this pick a card reading, we're going to be doing what does your person of interest find attractive about you? Um, you know, this could be romantically, this could be a crush, whoever it is, whoever comes to mind, whoever you want to know about, what do they find attractive about you? Five piles like always. Um, I do have these candles up on my shop. I do have $5 readings going on. Um, all that info will be in the description box down below where you can find my website, www.emeraldelements.com. And a big shout out to all of you who have ordered personal readings and bought orders with me, bought my candles, bought jewelry and uh, sage, etc. Thank you guys so much. I do appreciate it. Um, and yeah, so five piles like always on the far left we have my red candles, pile two we have the white candles, pile three we have my protection pack, pile four white candles, and pile five my attraction red pack candles. So let's go ahead and get started on one. Hey group one, thank you guys so much for being here. Let's go ahead and just hop right in and see what does your person of interest find attractive about you right so pile one if you guys chose this pile you guys chose this marble and gold foil card and my attraction pack we're gonna go ahead and just put this over here to the side all right but let's see what you guys got what does your person of interest find attractive about you so we have this one card coming out there's not only one way, your uniqueness is important. Follow the path of the heart. Your differences are not defects and each person's journey is different, okay? So interesting card. We see books stacked and we see a coffee mug on top. So some of you guys could really be into coffee. This person likes um, that you're into the coffee culture is what I wanna say here. Um, your person could also like that you're very smart. You're someone who quite possibly likes to read or they just think that you're very book smart. They think that you're very intelligent, that you're very curious. I'm also getting like a curious mind here, okay? You know, your uniqueness is important. So this person definitely sees you as something unique. They think that you are different from what they ha are used to. But it's in a good sense, right? Because we're talking about what do they find attractive about you. So they like how different you are. They like that you're not afraid to um, do things your way. Go down your own road here. And you accept yourself. And, you know, with each person's journey is different. I feel like this person likes the way that you are someone who's not afraid to go at things alone. You're not afraid to try new things that other people are scared to do or don't really do. So um, they see that your journey is different from theirs or just from a lot of people. All right, so let's go ahead and pull another card from this deck. Let's see what else wants to come out. There's not only one way. And then we have these candles. You know, whenever I look at these candles here, I think of someone who is very chill. I think of someone who is very kind. Someone who, I'm getting an energy of just letting things burn, letting things be, being chill about it, being receptive, having a cool, calm, collected energy here, all right? And you know, we have the candles burning, so I'm getting like fire, passion you know we have these red candles here passion but it's a slow and steady passion that i'm getting so they like your uniqueness they like your quirkiness i'm really getting like if you guys have watched stranger things in season three um i forget her name but she was trying you know she was working for the newspaper at the time and she was just trying to get her name out there she was just trying to press um important stories uh to the the big bosses, you know, who accept the, the stories to go out on the newspaper and obviously they weren't listening to her and stuff. And you guys don't have to be that intense, but I'm just getting like that kind of character here. You're going to do things no matter what people say. You're going to do what feels good to the heart. Um, 
you're involved with your passions for some of you. Okay. So let's see what else wants to come out. Visualize your highest self and start showing up as her. Ooh, okay. So yeah, this person likes your determination. This person likes that you are someone who is working on yourself. You're some, you could also be someone a bit businessy as well. And once again, we have another coffee cup here. I'm going to drink some tea. But you are someone who's growing. You are someone who's trying. Okay, we'll go ahead and take these two. So we have girl boss, build my own empire, and we have be more of who you are. So yeah, look, there's more coffee here. Um, this person likes that you are someone who stays busy. You're not someone who uh, loses track of the things that you want, okay? Things that you want to achieve. Some of you guys do have your own businesses. You do have your own side hustles. You are involved with your craft, your hobbies. Um, this could even be you, you know, working your way up in your own job here. Like you're always busy, you're always grinding, you're always hustling. Uh, you make a great supervisor. And I feel like you bring good things to the table, okay? And it gets this person thinking. It's like you, you're kind of like, what they find attractive about your group one is that you're that different kind of, motivation that they need okay you're someone who uh kind of thinks outside the box okay and it kind of inspires this person to uh get on that same level right all right so let's go ahead and pull some more cards let's pull some oracle cards here Give us a quick shuffle. What do they find? Group one. Group one. What is their person of interest? What does their person of interest find attractive about them? What is their person of interest find attractive about them? So we have the world card. Wow. So this person could see that, you know, and they find attractive that you're closing out a lot of things in your life. And also they kind of see you as everything as well. The world card is a very positive card to get when it represents someone because it talks about having a lot of great attributes, having a lot of great qualities. The world card also talks about success. So whenever I get the world card, I always think of Capricorn. Okay. So you guys could be a Capricorn, Aquarius. Some of you guys may have closed out a cycle with this person with the world card. The world card talks about endings. What do they find attractive? Let's see. Group one. What do they find attractive about my group ones? Angel of Love, what a great card to get as well. The Angel of Love in this deck is like my Empress card. So this person likes how easygoing you are, okay? And the Empress is ruled by Libra. Libra is an air sign. And I think the air signs um, show great examples of love. I love, air si I love how air signs love because it's truly unconditional, you know? It's not... Like, I'm kind of getting, you guys could be people who are kind of cool with everybody. You kind of just let things be. You show love to people. You show respect. Um, and I just feel like you guys could be very beautiful as well. Very beautiful um, people inside and out. Some of you guys are mothers. Or um, just the way that you dress, the way that you carry yourself is very feminine. But like a mature feminine energy. Uh, for my males as well. I'm just getting a very laid back, a very respectable 
energy here, okay? And with Angel Love to the World card, I feel like what makes you attractive, once again, is just your glow up, is you um, doing your self-care, you closing out things, and just getting better. Okay. I'm getting like beautiful soul. You guys have a very beautiful soul. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull some more oracle cards. They're still all in their boxes. I've never, I didn't even, I don't know why I didn't take them all out. So let's just get a few shuffles here. So let's see. My group ones, group ones. What does their person of interest find attractive about them? What does their person of interest find attractive about them? So we have this card flying up. We have milk and honey. Okay. So milk and honey is like a really good card to get because it talks about just being in a really good place, you know? And this elephant looks like he's having fun. So what I'm getting here is that this person likes that you are someone who enjoys yourself, you know? You are someone who enjoys luxury is what I want to say, but you kind of just don't get sucked up into it, okay? I feel like you can be very kind of temperamental when it comes to overindulging in things, okay? Another word that came to me was humble. Message in a bottle. Some of you guys like to drink. And um, once again, we have the coffees, right? So there's a lot of bottles here. Um, but I feel like, you know, you guys could like the the good coffee, you know, you guys could go to the coffee roasters or you guys are baristas or maybe you guys just make really good coffee, you know, the good shops. Um, maybe, you know, you, you like the good IPAs, the good double IPAs, the good breweries here, the good wines um, is what this person likes. So some of you guys could be a little bougie, but it's because you guys worked hard for it, right? And with the message in a bottle, this is a very positive good card to get because it talks about good news that is on the way. Um, I actually want to read from the booklet as well. So let's see. You are on target with your purpose and your passion. You are coming into alignment with what with your destiny and spirit wants you to know that you are on the right track. Okay. So yeah, a lot of you guys could definitely be following your desires at this time. And this person likes that. They, they see like good fortune, good things on your side. Okay. So let's see. I want to pull... Hmm. Let's see. I want to pull these tarot cards. My black, beautiful deck. I love this deck so much. So let's see. Let's see. Group one. Group one. What is their person of interest? find attractive about them what is their person of interest find attractive about them Let's give us a quick shuffle group one group one group one what is their person of interest find attractive about them so i want to pull yeah here we go let's pull these two perfect Perfect. So the two cards that we have here are the Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords. Okay, so what this combo is telling me is um, someone with a lot of strength, someone with a lot of resilience, and someone, um, it's, it's situations like this that build character. 
Okay, so this person knows that you have been through a lot, but they still see you standing. It's like, you know, you don't let these situations crumble you, okay? You, uh, you're strong, man. And that's what they find attractive, okay? Nobody can bring you down, you know? Especially with this Be More of Who You Are card. I mean, look how unbothered she looks. She kind of has like that silent confidence with her, you know? Um, it's just what I feel from that card. Very unbothered. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, look, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands. So some of you guys are in the public eye, or this person knows that you're very favored. You're someone who um, just gets along with a lot of people. Um, and this person does put you on a high pedestal. They think that you're cool. They think that you're achieving a lot right now. Okay. So let's see. Let's pull um, some of these cards. Quick shuffle once again. So let's see, group one. Group one. What does their person of interest find attractive? about my group ones. What does their person of interest find attractive about them? Ooh, so we have the emperor, all right? You know, we kind of have the emperor and the empress here. So this is big boss energy, okay? The empress is the queens of the queens. The emperor is the king of the kings, you know, all together in one. But I feel like there's a nice balance of masculine and feminine energy that you guys balance very well that you guys are definitely in tune to and what i'm getting it's like it's in a way to where you don't let other people's decisions or life's decisions break your character if anything it's like you step up to the plate okay with the emperor here once again someone who is very well respected the emperor to me is kind of like an aquarium energy to where um they know they have to take care of those around them, okay? It's their responsibility is very community-based. Um, and I love the emperor when he's in the upright because this is someone who's got their shit together. This is someone who's running a household. This is someone who's running their own business or just, um, you know, working their job. Someone who has their own place to live. Someone who has their own money. They have their own car. They're set in life. Um, and just has things under control, okay? Some of you guys could wear glasses as well. They like your glasses. They like how organized you are as well. You're someone organized and responsible. Ooh, we have the King of Wands. So we have like an Aries energy here. So, um, this person likes that you are about change. Okay, the king of wands to me is someone who initiates change. Um, and, you know, we had the six of wands come up at the bottom of the deck earlier, right? And you see how this king of wands is kind of like speaking in front of these people. So, what I'm getting is like some of you guys are speakers. Some of you guys are in a position where people just really look up to you. But you're really making some changes in your life group one or this could even be you know you walking away from this person and they find that attractive okay wow look you saw that flip right out we have the queen of wands we have the emperor the king of wands the queen of wands and the empress so some of you guys are you guys could have been in a relationship with this person um but once again, masculine and feminine energy here. Wow, how crazy for that to come out like that. But the Queen of Wands is someone very charismatic, someone who isn't petty. The Queen of Wands is most definitely a bounce back energy, hence the Nine of Wands being here as well, bounce back energy. And kind of just looking good doing it, you know, have someone with great style, someone who's very 
attractive and stylish and warm and just inviting and daring and courageous um, and very sweet, okay? So they like how like um, determined and a bit competitive you can be, but at the same time, they know that you're very sweet. They know that you are someone who is uh, can be very loving. Uh, yes, so group one, wow, great attributes here. This person is definitely like into you um, in some kind of way. But group one, thank you so much. Don't forget to order a personal reading with me. I do have $5 readings as well as my candle packs. I have them for $5 as well and other goodies do come with them. So check that out. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next reading. Hey group two, welcome to your reading. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, let's hop right in it, right? So group two, if you guys chose this pile, if you guys chose my white candle pack here, $5, but let's just go ahead and put her right here. And you guys chose this beautiful gold foil um, card here. It's gorgeous, right? So let's go ahead and just see what your person of interest finds attractive about you. So we have good vibes. I mean, pretty self-explanatory, right? I love this card because I, I even get good vibes from it, right? So I'm just getting really someone who's, um, I feel like the tone of your voice, group two, is very soothing, it's very cool, it's very relaxed. And I just feel like your energy too, your energy is currency and a lot of people want to be surrounded by you here. It's like, mm, people know you're in a good mindset. I don't know why why I wanted to say that, but um, you know, in order to bring the vibes, you have to be in the right mental state, right? So people like how positive you, you're a positive influence wherever you go group two and I'm not trying to sound too crazy with it but I'm just saying like you're you're good people you're good vibes here and what what also makes you attractive or what this person likes is that you guys you know you could be into crystals you could be into reading law of attraction books you could be into herbals and um you know oils and things of that nature here Let's go ahead and choose another from this deck. So let's see my group twos. What do they find attractive about my group twos? What do they find attractive about my group twos? Wow, look at that. What was I saying, you know? So this card, it has herbals, it has oils, we got some ar aromatherapy going on. So I feel like some of you guys, um, you smell really good, okay? But I'm also getting, like when people look at you or when people talk to you or when people hang out with you, you're a vibe group too, okay? I'm also getting some of you guys like to smoke pot. Some of you guys are always burning sage in your house. You're always, um, buying tinctures but i'm just getting a lot of you guys smell good like your home smells good um and once again you just have a very soothing voice you have a soothing energy and i feel like that's something really good to have i feel like that is such a compliment to get group two okay just somebody really liking your vibe somebody liking your soul right So let's pull a few from this deck. All right, so we got three coming out. So let's see, we have direction is more important than speed. We have speak positively about yourself. And we have you only fail when you don't dare to try. So what I'm getting here in group two is like you guys have like an effortless look to you, okay? Um, I feel like 
the way that you move also is just very effortless. It's very cool. Um, yeah, all right. I feel like you guys could have great bodies as well. Um, and with direction is more important than speed. This is all about having a plan for your life. This is all about moving with purpose, all right? And this person likes that you are someone who really does count the times, you really do count the days, or this is just, you know, once again, a vibe that they do come for, for, from you. And I'm just getting also, Groot, too, that this person does see you as very smart for your age, very conscious for your age. Um, like, you know what's up. And you only fail when you don't dare to try. This person loves that. This person likes your mindset. They like that you are a go-getter. You do the things that you want and you're not, you're not scared to fail. You're not scared to try new things. There's a very confident, uh, like a silent confident, confidence about you group two. I feel like this person um, likes talking with you, okay? They enjoy your company. So let's see. Group two. We got some oracle cards here. Let's see what wants to come out. Group two. So we have the first chakra in the reverse. So the first chakra is the um, the base chakra, all right? So this person likes that you are someone who values your stability. You are someone stable in this person's eyes, okay? And we have cornucopia in the reverse. Ooh, okay. So very interesting that these are coming out in the reverse. Okay. But with cornucopia, this is a card all about abundance. This is a card all about accessing and realizing that everything that we have, that we have everything, okay? Or it's making our way to us here. So this person likes for some of you group two, you guys may not have everything together, but I feel like there's just something about you that is very stable, that is very solid, that's already in the mindset of you kind of having everything, okay? So this person likes that. And for others of you, you are very stable. You know, you have your own place. Um, you can think and speak for yourself. You are your own person. Um, you have accumulated a lot of things in your life and this person finds that attractive here. They find attractive that you are someone who cares about uh, your stability. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull some more oracle cards. So let's see, let's see, group two, my group two. Group two, what is their person of interest find attractive about them? Group two, what is their person of interest find attractive about them? So we have mending. Yeah, so what was I saying? I feel like this person likes your company. They like the conversations with you. They also like that you are someone who, 
you know, you don't really stay mad at them for long or you're someone who just has a lot of compassion with them. You're able to patch things up. You're able to continue to grow with them and just mend things if you guys have been through some, uh, you know, a bit of rough patches here. So let's see, group two, what is a person of interest find attractive about my group twos? What does a person of interest find attractive about my group twos? To be fair, yeah, exactly. So this person likes how fair you are. Some of you guys could be a Libra, a Libra Aries. Yeah, and there's an owl on top of her head. So a lot of you guys are very wise. You're wise with your dealings. You're wise um, and compassionate here. This person also likes that you are someone who knows how much to give, you know, how much to pull away. It's like th this person, what they find attractive about you, you know how much, like I said, I'm sorry. You know how much to give. It's like you're not too much with them. Like you're that sweet middle. Okay. And you could literally just be the person who's the glue for this relationship or um, between you guys. They also like that you are someone honest. You're someone truthful. You're someone who likes to do things fairly. You're someone who likes to treat people fairly. You're someone who sticks to the facts about things. Very smart. Some of you guys work out. I feel like some of you guys like expensive things as well. And I say that because we have the Gucci belt on the top right. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull from this one. Oh, sorry about that. All right. So let's see, let's see. Group two, what does their person of interest find attractive about them? Group two, what does their person of interest find attractive about them? So we have the Magi. Okay, this is ruled by Gemini. So some of you guys could be a Gemini. But this person likes, once again, the way that your mind works. Uh, the magician to me is also someone who is very aware of their own power. Someone with a lot of confidence. Someone who's not afraid to think of an idea and make it happen. Okay? So this person thinks that you are a powerful manifester. You're someone with a lot of confidence in you. I feel like you're really great at opposition as well. And you don't really care too much of what other people think about you. Group two, what does their person of interest find attractive about them? So we have the three of swords. I'm not going to take that because group one had that card. So let's see, group one, what does their person of interest find attractive about them? Oh, okay, we got this one flipping right out. Wow, okay. So we're just gonna take this card because it's the same damn card. It's the three of swords wanting to come out again, but it wants to come out in the reverse, okay? So very interesting. Minding you, I keep all of these cards upright. 
So we're just going to leave it reversed since it just wants to come out that way. It's like, no, we're, you're going to keep me. Um, so yeah, the three of swords reversed. I love it. This person likes that you are someone, you know, right next to the magician as well. This is all mental energy. So they like that you are someone who's very positive in a sense where, you know, there's wisdom with you just knowing that things will be all right. Knowing that situations like this don't change forever. What's that rush quote from Tom Sawyer? Um, something change is not permanent or oh my god it's like my favorite band also it's, I'm so pissed I don't remember that I'm literally gonna look it up right now I'm so sorry I have to I have to do it all right so here it is Oh, what the heck? That is not the right one. Okay, he knows changes aren't permanent, but change is. Okay, so that's what it is. So it's just something about the mind. It's something about acceptance. It's something about being able to come out of, out of this energy here that's uh that find you know this person finds very attractive okay so i love it let's go ahead and just pull a few more cards here so let's see let's See, let's see. Some of you guys are witches. Okay. Some of you guys are witches. Um, you guys are very spiritual people. We have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Okay. So with the Nine of Cups in the reverse, this person likes that you are someone who's not arrogant. You're someone who's not, you know, you don't have a stank attitude with you because the Nine of Cups can be someone who is a bit of a show off, someone who's a bit smug, right? But I'm getting like you guys are very like independent. You guys don't really need other people to make you happy. You can do that on your own. And um, I just feel like you guys do like to keep yourselves low key. Like you see the way that she's hiding behind uh this book or this page here we have the lovers in the reverse so some of you guys may have broke up with this person okay some of you guys may have left this person here and we do have a strong strong gemini okay so this person likes that you're able to get out of things that don't make you happy But you also come with like compassion and forgiveness and then we have strength so we have a leo here so this person finds attractive your inner strength there's a lot of inner strength that you have and we have justice once again coming out here um so you guys could be a libra a gemini or a uh, leo and i feel like you guys could have great taste as well like you see how she's taking off her heels She's wearing like a nice dress. Her hair is done really nice. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys are kick ass. All right. So group two, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this resonated. Thanks so much. And I'm gonna move on to group three. Thanks group two. Hey group three, welcome to your reading. Thank you guys so much for being here. So group three, if you guys chose this pile, let's figure out what your person of interest finds attractive about you. So once again, if you guys chose this pile, you guys chose my protection candle pack. We'll go ahead and put them right here for now. But you guys chose this kind of 
wood look inspired gold foil card and let's go ahead and see what your person of interest finds attractive about you so we have don't fuck with my energy right pretty straightforward i love it so i group three you guys can be very straightforward people for some of you or you guys just have an energy that literally just does not give a fuck okay but in the nicest way for some of you and for others of you in the not so nicest way i feel like um some of you guys can be a very sweet person until somebody does mess with you then i feel like you're not afraid to kind of just let hell loose but why this is attractive is because you're someone with boundaries you're someone kind of just letting people know that you're unfuckable. All right. And I'm just getting very alpha energy here. Okay. Especially for my males. Very alpha, very dominant energy. Okay. I feel like you guys could also have great style. You guys could rock your own style, whatever that may be. And this person likes it. I feel like you guys could have great legs. Or your shoe game is just fire. It's on point here, group three. Um, and I feel like you guys can be very conscious and very... Sen I feel like you guys um, are very sensitive to other people's energy as well. I feel like you guys are very intuitive. You guys like know when someone's kind of just acting weird or just acting shady. And I feel like you guys can be very much reserved people or you have a small... A uh, friend group here and uh, why this makes you attractive is because you're not easily accessible uh, People can't easily get to you hence people wanting to know you because it, it's exclusive like you you made yourself exclusive <laughs> group one, okay? Let's go ahead and pull more Some of you guys could have kicked this person out or this person um, likes that you are someone that they can kind of play fight with. We have these tarot cards. Okay, so this person could like that you're a tarot reader or this person likes that you are someone who's into tarot. You're someone who's into esoteric things but once again like i was saying some of you guys are very intuitive some of you guys you know your powers are very strong yes for my males as well like you're 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 a bit psychic here okay but yes group three a lot of you guys are tarot readers watching this and this person finds that attractive because not a lot of people can do this this is uh, definitely a gift to have and this person just thinks that is very unique right all right so let's see let's see Group three, group three. What does their person of interest find attractive about them? So we'll pull this one and we'll pull this one. So let's see. The cards that we have is the universe is giving you exactly what you are ready to receive. And visualize your highest self and start showing up as her. So group three, what this person finds attractive about you is that you're you're a great example. I feel like, you know how I was talking about how uh, you guys, for some of you, could just have a small group of friends. Or don't really associate yourself with a lot of people. They, they find this attractive as well. The, you know how, what's that quote? What's that saying? Surround yourself with people who are where you want to be. Surround yourself with people who are 
you know, who are great leaders, who are great teachers, people and friends that will uplift you in a healthy way. They see you in this way, group three, all right? And they're seeing also that you have worked hard for a lot of things in your life right now. You may be receiving a lot of um, blessings and abundance right now. The universe is giving you exactly what you're ready to receive. And this person knows it's because you have worked hard for it and you have worked on yourself, you know? Uh, to level up, it takes change within a person to do it, you know? We can't keep being in the same mindset. We can't keep doing the same thing. And change is not, it's not easy, you know? It's uncomfortable. It takes a lot of sacrifice and it takes a hell of a long time. So uh, this person just finds that attractive about you. You're all about self-growth. You're all about your coin, your money, and... Um, you know, especially with the tarot cards here, I feel like this person likes that you are someone who uses this tool in a very beneficial way for you. So it kind of just gives them a new perspective when it comes to spirituality and tarot because they see that you are using it as a tool for self-growth here. And some of you guys are, you know, you have businesses when it comes to, uh, you know, spiritual things here. I feel like this person likes your spiritual side and you guys also have like a businessy side to you as well. Would we'll visualize your highest self and start showing up as her. Okay. But yes, this person likes your drive. They like your determination. They like that you are someone who shows up for yourself. You get in the energy of what you want to be and you manifest the shit out of it. And this person just finds it amazing. Uh, they want to be on your team and yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull some more cards. I am so excited. Group three, let's see what else wants to come out, yeah? person of interest find attractive about them? Hmm, I'm not feeling it. Let's see, group three, group three. Sorry. We have patience in the reverse. Yeah, so this person likes that you are someone who doesn't really sit around and wait for things to happen, right? You're a go-getter. You are a go-getter. Some of you guys have dreads or you used to have dreadlocks and they find that attractive. Um, people who get dreadlocks, what is that? I think that's a sign for a spiritual awakening. I'm so sorry for those of you, if any of you got offended by that. Um, I, should, I should have done my research actually before I said anything. But I know there's like a symbology uh, to it. All right, so let's see. Group three, group three. What does a person find attractive about them? What does a person of interest find attractive about them? Wow, look at that. Angel of strength. Yeah, I'm definitely getting like Rastafarian fives as well. No, but this person thinks that you're tough. This person thinks that, you know, you you really are a strong character here. Um, I love the strength card. It's ruled by Leos. I love Leos. I'm surrounded by Leos. I'm surrounded by Virgos as well. Um, but Angel of Strength, the strength card, is a card of discipline. It's a card of really holding back uh, our desires our shadow side and um doing the hard shit that nobody wants to do right so this person admires that they admire your inner strength they admire your character as well your resilience 
Some of you guys like to work out. You have great bodies. Let's see, group three, group three. What makes my group three is attractive? We have never ending story in the reverse. I love it because when this card is in the reverse, this talks about ending a cycle finally. Like you see the way she, this fairy is grabbing her head and she looks just so tired and you know, her thoughts are taking over. But when it's in the reverse, I'm just getting that this person likes that you're someone who doesn't think too much, okay? You're someone who is not really afraid of embarrassment. You're not afraid to fail, really. I mean, you know, I'm not saying you're immune to it, but this person just likes your bounce back energy. They think that you're really tough. Um, and you're someone who doesn't really sit and loathe in like difficulties or stress, uh, etc. So let's see, my group threes, what is their person of interest find attractive about them? All right, we'll take these two. So we have Yang in the reverse as well as Chop Wood. Yeah, what was I saying? With this card in the reverse, it could denote humility. It could denote uh, knowing that we need to chop away some stuff. And Yang reverse, I feel like um, this person also likes that you're someone who, you know, can kind of give into impulses sometimes, but I'm really getting for the most part that you guys don't really, okay? I'm also getting this person likes, you know, if this is someone you've been dealing with for a long time, this person likes that you are someone, you know, because the strength card to me, especially the Queen of Wands, is that person, is that friend of someone who's going to be with you no matter what, no matter what difficulties you guys go through, this person is a friend, this person can handle adversity. And um, this person has probably seen you go through a lot in your life or maybe just between the connection. Um, you guys have both tested each other or they have tested you. But it's like you've proven to them that you are a loyal friend. You are um, a loyal partner here. Um, but at the same time, don't fuck with my energy, right? So let's go ahead and pull a few tarot cards now. So the sign that we have, I'm getting Sagittarius and Leo. All right, so my group three. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So I'm not sure if some of you guys may have cut this person out or you have not, but this person likes that you are someone who definitely has a mouth on them. Um, they think that you have a brilliant mind as well. And I feel like some of you guys could have a potty mouth, okay? <laughs> and this person likes that. We have the Lover's card. So this person likes the way that you love. This person also likes your body. I feel like for some of you, this person likes your house. They like where you live. Um, they think that you have great taste is what I want to say. Let's pull a couple more cards here. All right, so we have the Seven of Cups to the Six of Swords, both in the reverse here. 
So what I'm getting is that this person likes that you are someone who doesn't really stay in illusions. You are not someone who throws smoke and mirrors in their face or in your own face. You're someone who likes to keep things uh, clear, right? Because the Seven of Cups is also known to be very foggy. It's known with someone with their head in the clouds, etc. So this person likes that you're not someone like that. You like to keep yourself grounded in reality. This person also likes that you are someone quite stable as well. You guys could have a stable career, stable job. You're not someone who's always hopping from relationship to relationship, career, job to job, etc. Um, yes. Okay. Wow, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands. So this person, they find you very attractive. They definitely see you also as someone that could most definitely bring change into their own life as well. They like your creativity. They like the spark that you bring in them here. Very good energy. And let's pull a couple more tarot cards. All my decks will be listed down below in the description box, guys. I'm gonna drink some tea. So let's see. All right, let's pull this one. Ooh, so we have the Seeker of Cups. So what I'm getting, this person thinks that you're very cute, okay? Whenever I get the Page of Cups, I just think of someone very cute, very adorable, someone who's not afraid to um, put themselves out there, really. Um, and, you know, you could have a crush on this person and they know about it here. Um, but yeah, I'm getting a lot of you guys are very creative people. You're very, um, you could be a bit uh, very expressive when it comes to your personality or your artwork or when it comes to this person. Um, but yeah, some of you guys could be younger than this person as well. But they just think that you're very sweet, you're very cute. Okay. <laughs> Some of you guys could be a water sign. We have the Ten of Wands. So this person thinks that you are very much a hard worker. You're someone who, once again, can handle adversity and you can really just keep on pushing. But they definitely do see that you are someone who works hard for what you want. You bring in whatever it is that you want. could have made an offer to this person and kind of just had to move away but they like that you're still holding on pretty strong we have the sun card yeah so they like your energy okay with the sun card they think that you're a very enlightened person they think that you're a very warm person. They, I feel like they, they, they feel like they get along with you. Okay, you guys are gonna know your situation with this person. So however it resonates here, some of you guys could have hand tattoos as well, and this person likes your hand tattoos. All right, but group three, that is all I have for you guys. I hope this resonated. Please let me know. And once again, get at me for $5 readings. Get at me for my $5 candle packs. Um, www.emeraldelements.com. It will be in the description box as well. Thank you guys so much and take care. Bye. Hey, group four, what is up? my people thank you guys so much for being here i am so excited but let's hop right in right so group four if you guys chose this pile you guys chose the white candle pack here all right we'll go ahead and put it right here 
And, you know, once again, if you guys chose this power, you guys chose this gold foil kind of wood themed, right? But let's go ahead and see what your person of interest finds attractive about you guys. So we have pay me. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So like y you feel this, uh, this character's energy. She looks unbothered. She looks like she knows her worth. She's adding tax to it as well. Um, those glasses look like they're Gucci or something. Please excuse the background noise. Um, hoop earrings, you know, she just looks very unbothered. It looks like she doesn't want to talk unless it's about money. Okay, you guys don't have to have an attitude like that. Um, but I'm just getting that you're, this person likes that your priorities are straight. Okay, you're someone who uses good judgment and it may seem harsh to others or it can be harsh to others, but they know that it's like, okay, she's right, you know? So this person likes that you're focused on your career, you're focused on your business, you're focused on your hustle, you're focused on your money, your coin. You're just very money focused right now. And it doesn't even have to do with money. This could literally just be your energy. Um, energy is currency, right? So this person likes it. I feel like this person likes the way that you do your makeup. I feel like they like your shades, they like your style, they like your hair, they like your earrings, they like your attitude, okay? Um, and yes, so let's go ahead and see what else wants to come out. Group four. You know, you guys could also have a nose piercing. And also why this is attractive, uh, group four, is because this person knows that like not a lot of people can get close to you. Um, not a lot of people have access to you. So there's like an exclusive energy about you, group four, okay? And uh, that's what they find attractive about you. I feel like you guys could like the finer things in life, okay? There's not only one way, your uniqueness is important, follow the path of the heart, your differences are not defects, and each person's journey is different, <laughs> alright? So yeah, this person likes that you go your own way, you're not afraid of anything. I feel like if people try to give you a hard time, or if people try to embarrass you, or if things don't go your way, it's like you're not even phased by it, okay? Um, you just have a lot of confidence in yourself and you just get your money up, okay? I feel like you guys could be very smart, very strategic, very book smart here. Um, your differences are not defects. I feel like some of you guys could be very vocal when it comes to uh, your opinions on things. Um, and that's what makes you attractive because you can think for yourself, you can speak for yourself. You um, can make, group four, you guys can most definitely make this person or some people around you, um, what am I trying to say, like uncomfortable, okay? But in a way where you kind of like intimidate them, but I just feel like it's because you have a, you have a strong character, you have a strong energy about you. And it doesn't have to be something extreme, but I'm just getting here like you are... Someone who's definitely has like their stuff together or you are working on it right now and you're just no bullshit um, is what this person finds attractive about you, my group fours. Oh shit, that's too much, but I love it. Let's go ahead and pull some more cards here. This is pretty much like the same deck, but just bigger cards. It's too much once again. All right, group four, let's see, group four, what does their person of interest find attractive about them? Group four, what does their person of interest find attractive about them? Be more of who you are. I mean, look how unbothered she looks too, right? Look at all this coffee. So I feel like you got, you know, another coffee cup right here. Once again, no time for BS. I'm just going to put this card down as well. Um, 
I feel like you guys, once again, kind of just like the nice things, right? You like the good coffee. You know, you like the coffee roasters. You like the, the good beer. You like the IPAs, right? Or you like the good wine. I feel like you guys value yourselves. And it teaches this person to value you, to respect you. Wow, this card flipped out too. Look at this coffee cup. So you guys can just definitely be into coffee. This person likes that. Um, but be more of who you are, you know. Th this card is just screaming to me. And I think all these cards just complement it well as well. Um, and this person also, they just know, like, you you're someone... It's like when they talk to you, there's no competition. There's really no negative talk. It's like... You do try to keep the vibe high or you just don't speak at all. Um, and here's another nose ring as well. Okay, some of you guys definitely have a nose ring. Um, this person likes that. I feel like you guys have a really good nose for it as well. Um, what else was I was going to say? Oh yeah, you guys can have an edgy look to you. Okay, for some of you. Let's go ahead and pull some oracle cards. Let's see. Let's see. So my group fours. Okay, let's choose this one. So we have door to value in the reverse. <laughs> yes. So once again, one of the things that popped in my mind is that you guys are you guys don't open the door for everybody okay i feel like you guys are very reserved when it comes to the people that you hang out with you want to make sure that it's good company you want to make sure that it's with people who are going to uplift you here and some of you guys just may have came from a background to where you know you didn't really know your worth um you didn't know your value and they just see that changing in you here okay so let's see my group fours what does their person of interest find attractive about my group fours let's pull this one so we have anxiety okay so yeah i'm definitely getting like an edgy look some of you guys um, like grunge music, you like metal music, you like to wear black, um, but I feel like it suits you very well. And a lot of you guys also have like long brown hair, like a dark brown hair. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull some more oracle cards. And let's bring this down just a tad bit. I'm sorry if it's crooked, guys. But let's see. So, group four. person of interest find attractive about them so we have by the book so what by the book what this card talks about is um learning the law of attraction it's a card about learning the how, how can i say this um going by the book on things okay so i what I'm getting from this is being very smart, is uh, being very strategic. Oh, 
and we have time to go in the reverse here so what i'm getting from time to go in the reverse is that you are someone who um let's see i lost my train of thought um i feel like when the going gets tough i feel like you guys aren't ones to tap out too easily okay um i feel like a lot of people like you group four okay you guys could be quite popular but when the going gets tough you're not someone who taps out too easily is what i'm getting all right so let's go ahead and pull some tarot i am so hungry Okay, I'm gonna drink some tea. What does their person find attractive? What does their person of interest find attractive about them? All of these piles have been so great, so positive. So let's see, we have the Four of Cups. I, I love it. I love it so much uh, for this reading because the Four of Cups to me, it's someone who once again this is a reserved energy this is someone who's not going to take just any offer that comes along okay this is someone who's really going to um only settle for what it is they feel like they deserve all right and that's boundaries that's wanting more for yourself the lovers yes so you know this person they think that you have a great body first of all um they think that you are someone who makes great decisions and i feel like you guys most definitely just have a spiritual side to you i feel like you guys are great manifestors and you guys really don't settle for what it is for just anything you know we have it right next to the four of cups here You guys could be a Gemini. I'm getting Gemini Cancer. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull a few more cards here just to end this reading. group four what does their person of interest find attractive about my group fours what does their person of interest so we have death okay so with death being here this person what they find attractive about you is that you are someone who has definitely been through a lot of changes, okay? They have definitely seen that you are someone who has grown, you are someone who has evolved, but you know, change, this card looks very difficult because it talks about things being taken away from them, okay? So this person knows or they get a sense that 
You haven't always had it easy in life, okay? But you have made the necessary changes. You have been through a lot of things and that you're still standing pretty strong. It has kind of made you to who you are today. Some of you guys could be a Scorpio. You could be a Scorpio Gemini Cancer. We have judgment in the reverse. Yeah, and this person also finds attractive that you're someone who's non-judgmental. Okay, you're someone who doesn't, you know, place blame on other people. Um, and it's also like people could think of you one way as well, group four. But it's like when these people actually get to know you, they know that you are a cool person. They know that you are someone who's non-judgmental. That, you know, you're kind of the way that you are with the things that you have been through here, okay? So, you know, and Scorpio is also known uh, as being a very deep sign. So they know that you're also someone who is very deep. They, they get a sense from that here, all right? And, you know, Scorpios can be pretty goth. They can be pretty edgy. So I'm really getting you guys can kind of be like that. But so far for signs, we have Scorpio. We have Sagittarius and Gemini. I'm also getting Cancer. And we have the Seven of Swords. Ooh, so this person likes it. You are someone very smart, okay? You are someone who... Uh, I'm just getting very smart and I'm also getting that this person could like that, you know, you kind of play fight with them sometimes. Okay. Very interesting, all right? So group five, that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Or group four, I think I said five. Okay, I'm going to move on to group five now. Thanks group four. Bye. Hey group five, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. So group five, let's go ahead and hop right in. If you guys chose this pile, you guys chose my red candle pack here. Let's go ahead and put this right over here for now. And you guys chose this gold foil wood looking kind of card here. So let's go ahead and figure out what your person of interest finds attractive about you. Excuse me, I was drinking some tea. Invest in yourself. Love it. So you guys can most definitely be um, on your cash shit right now. Okay, I'm also getting some of you guys are investors. Some of you guys are in the stock market right now. And there's just something about the way that you move that this person finds attractive that you're very strategic. Okay, you're very strategic when it comes to your money. Once again, you can be involved in the stock market, you can have your own business, you could be saving for retirement right now, but you also still have your Gucci, you still have your Louis Vuitton, um, you know, you could wear nice watches, you always have your nails done, everything like that here, okay? And this doesn't even have to do with the money as well. Invest in yourself. This person likes that you like you time, you like me time, you like to take care of yourself, show yourself some love, uh, do things that your future self is going to thank you for in the future, okay? So I, I love this card, invest in yourself, believe in yourself. But I'm definitely getting someone who's money focused. So let's see. We have good vibes. Yes, this person likes that you are someone with very good vibes here. You are very, I feel like the way that you talk, the way that you speak, the way that you approach things, it's, um, it's very nice. It's very soothing. I'm also getting there's a spiritual side to you. So I feel like, you know, we have this invest in yourself card this good vibe. I feel like you guys can be very grounded when it comes to your spirituality, okay? Um, there's a nice balance here. All right, 
right, so let's see, let's see. So we have reminder, it's okay to have bad days, but keep in mind that they will pass, so don't let them bring you down. You guys, this person likes your resilience. This person likes that you are someone who, you know, no time for bullshit. You don't let the bullshit get to you. You kind of just keep it moving. You always keep the vibes high. You always keep the vibes good. Um, and that, you know, with that, that comes wisdom. That comes knowledge. That comes knowledge that you could use later. So this person, what they find attractive about you is that you're very wise and mature and very smart for your age here, okay? Not only with money, but like being self-aware, okay? Let's pull this card. We have Girl Boss Build My Own Empire here. So yeah, you guys could literally have your own businesses. You guys could literally have your own side hustle or things that keep you busy here, things that generate more income, things that, um, you know, they like that you keep yourself busy. Um, you know, you guys could also be in a high position at your job here, okay? And this person finds attractive because you're someone responsible. You're someone who um, has respect. You know, you're very good at what you do. You're very good with your craft. You're very good when it comes to managing your time and having a purpose with it, okay? So let's see, group five, my group fives, what does their person of interest find attractive about my group fives? What does their person of interest find attractive about them? What does their person of interest find attractive about them? So we have door to personal healing and happiness in the reverse. And we have the sun card. So I got really positive energy, even though this card came out in the reverse here. Um, this person, I feel like they like that you are someone who is quiet with your healing. You're quiet when it comes to um, yeah, with your healing here. And you know, the sun card also talks about healing. It also talks about enlightenment. I feel like you're a joy to be around, okay? You are someone who um, just keeps quiet about things, but I feel like you're also very pleasant to be around, okay? You guys could be Leos. I'm getting Leo Cancer. And this lady here, she's like watering herself. So once again, there is that self-love coming through. This person likes that you are very happy. You are very lighthearted. You're someone who likes to give to yourself. You're someone who likes to water yourself. You like to grow. You like to spread light. Some of you guys are light workers. So my group fives, little, ooh, let's choose this one. We have come to the edge. Yes, fearless. You are fearless. You are someone who takes risks, okay? Um, a lot of people don't come to the edge due to comfort, due to uh, fear, right? But you are someone who just has some faith or you at least just have some courage to make some steps into your life, to take chances, to know that, you know, if you do fall, you, you, you'll be catched. Hmm. 
We have soulmates in the reverse, yeah. So this person likes that you are someone who Some of you guys could have been with this person and you guys may have left this person and kind of just stepped your game up is what I'm getting here. Yeah, we have round and round in the reverse. So what this person likes is that you have left this person. They know that this uh, connection has affected you, but also in a good way is, is what I'm getting from this group five. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards. So let's see. We have the three of coins, yes. This person likes, once again, the three of coins talks about someone who's just minding their own business, someone who is working on themselves, working on their foundations, working on something new. Um, so they like that you put in the work. They like that you are focused on your stability right now. Some of you guys are very much focused on your crafts, on your hobbies. You're a very creative person. We have the Ten of Cups. Yes, yeah, so this person likes that you are someone who, you know, you do keep a good vibe in a sense to where you could kind of always be happy, you know? Um, you kind of make the best out of endings. They see you very positive. The Ten of Cups to me is somebody who's able to kind of just end situations on good terms. And someone who is also internally happy. So this person likes that, you know, you could be doing fine on your own right now. You are um, watering yourself. You are um, not dependent on things or this person like before. Um, they see you shining. And some of you guys could be in a new relationship right now. Or you just have ended things. Uh, kind of just let this relationship, this situation be. And, you know, they see you kind of accepting things for what it is, how, how, it all, how they are. Oh my goodness, my camera is going to die. So let's pull a few more cards here just to end off this reading. So my group fives, my group fives, what do they find attractive? Oh, okay. So we got a few cards here. All right. So we have Temperance in the reverse, we have the Emperor, and we have the World card in the reverse. I love it. Now with Temperance being in the reverse, this to me, you know, right next to the Emperor, this to me is someone who, okay, let's say Temperance was around bad cards, right? Not only is this going with the flow, this is a det detriment in a way to where you're literally not wanting to rock the boat just for somebody else's comfort when you know you should not be in the situation. It's kind of just being like, oh, la, 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 you know, this is fine. No, when temperance is in the reverse, it talks about um, not being in that mode anymore, kind of just not letting um, things slip past you anymore. It's like waking up. Okay, and then we have the emperor. The emperor is someone who is well respected. This is someone who steps up to the table. Someone who steps up in their own life here. 
someone once again very well respected someone who has things of their own has their own place to live has their own car has their own family has their own business um etc you know we have this girl boss card and this emperor so they they see you have definitely stepped up in your life you have definitely changed um and with the world card right next to it yeah they they see that you have changed and they could quite possibly know too that you are not completely done with it but it is the world card so they know that you are but there's they just think that you have some lingering feelings okay which they find attractive but overall they're seeing you step up they're seeing a new you they're seeing you very determined someone who is creating new things someone who is watering themselves and someone who is investing in themselves as well so group five that is all i have for you guys i'm sorry this was so short compared to the others my battery is dying and thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next reading.